हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द यूनिट वाइज एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फॉर द नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एग्जामिनेशन एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द यूनिट एट एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फोर्टी इन दिस क्रैश कोर्स सीरीज सो इफ यू हैव एंड चेक द प्रीवियस पार्ट यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सो दिस यूनिट डील्स विद एनवायरमेंटल असेसमेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड लेजिस्लेशन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज the specific methods available to perform eias that is environmental impact assessments of genetically modified organism include what so i'll wait for certain seconds and then i will reveal the answer and here the correct option will be option number c yes these two methods that is gmp ram and inova technique which are actually just software tools which are used for the risk assessment method for the gm plants that is genetically modified plants if you are going to plant somewhere then whether it will affect the local varieties or not what will be the adversities to know all this these two softwares are used which are specialized kinds of eia so kindly note it down it is also important let's move to the next question the next question is what is the correct full form of the well known environmental management system which is known as niehs environmental management system so look into every options carefully and here the correct option will be option number b yes the full form of niehs is national institute of environmental health sciences actually this is the institute which is located in usa and this is following the same plan which is followed by the other ems that is plan do check and act so this is the path of any environmental management system plan do check and act which is provided by the iso 14001 ems standard so you should note it down this plan do check and act this process is provided by the iso 14001 of environmental management system standard let's move to the next question the next question is when did the unep adopted the goals and principles of environmental impact assessment so which was the correct year and here the correct option will be option number a yes in the year 1987 unep adopted the goals and principles of environmental impact assessment that is eia so let's move to the next question the next question is which is the first country in the world to make environmental audits compulsory in its country so you have to identify which is the correct country first country in the world and the options are usa italy china and india and here the correct option will be option number d india yes we all should be proud that india is the first country in the world to make all the environmental audits compulsory throughout the country let's move to the next question the next question is the full form of eaar in an audit related to environment is what so this year is the not the body organ which is present in our body so this is something different so here the correct option will be option number b yes the full form of eaar is environmental audit report which is used for the audit plans used for the environment assessment let's move to the next question the next question is which is not a type of environmental audit so here in the last question we discussed about the eaar so audit so the question is which is not a type of environmental audit and here the correct option which is not a type of environmental audit is option number d so no need to look into that so we should know what are the environmental audit types these are environmental compliance audit environmental performance audit and environmental financial audit so this environmental scoping audit is absurd let's move to the next question the next question is the definition of impact assessment was given by which of the following scientists 
and here this question has come in the UG Senate exam and the correct option will be option number C. Heer and Haggerty in the year 1977 gave the definition of impact assessment. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which is true regarding the Leopold interaction matrix used in the EIA process. So you have to say which is true regarding this kind of matrix. And here the correct option will be option number D both. Yes, this Leopold interaction matrix is very flexible because it can be expanded as well as it can be contracted. So it is very helpful in the EIA process because of this characteristic. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the full form of NEPA that is NEPA is word. So you should remember that we are dealing with the environmental audit and impact assessment. So it is related to that. And here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the full form of NEPA is very easy from the options that is National Environmental Policy Act and this act is enacted in USA. So this NEPA that is National Environmental Policy Act was enacted in USA in the year 1917. So one more thing I should tell you that in the previous questions which we discussed about the first country to give that the environmental audit compulsory is India and one more thing you should note it down that in the year 1992 government of India propose this that environmental audit should be compulsory for all the industries to provide environmental audit reports. So the next question is under the section 3 act of environmental protection act of 1986 of India coastal regulation zones were framed in which of the following year. And here the correct option will be option number A. Yes, in the year 1991 under the section 3 of environmental protection of 1986 this coastal regulation zone that is CRZ rules were framed for the regulation of activities in the coastal areas. So it was by Ministry of Environment and Forest which is now known as Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So these were some of the important questions related to the unit 8 of the net UGC syllabus. I hope you have learned something new from here and if you like this don't forget to give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel for further updates.